Fact of the day. Fact of the day. Hello, hi, and welcome to Fact of the Day with me, Mark Lotsu. Desktop traffic lights. Have you ever been sitting at your desk working away and then you get Tom from accounts or you get Susan from HR who comes over and they're like, let me tell you about my weekend. Oh my goodness, it's the most amazing thing. Let me tell you about this wedding I went to, this party. Oh, I've been on holiday. Let me show you these pictures. And you just want to get on with your work. You just want to be, oh, please just let me work. So if you're creative anyway, a writer or an artist, or if you're an, an analyst or if you're a programmer, um, any, any sort of profession where you're typing away for long periods of time on a computer, working on a computer, and you don't want to be disturbed, then what you need is the flow light. The flow light was designed by a guy called David Shepard, and along with a, another guy called um, Thomas Fitz from the University of Zurich, they've developed this software, and it was first trialed at a company called ABB Incorporated, 18 month trial. So this is how it works. It monitors your keystrokes, and it monitors your use of the mouse, and then when it gets within like your, your zone, your focus zone, so within the top 10, 9% of your most productive time, then the light goes red, and that means do not disturb. So what that means is, you get a light, the light goes red, also your Skype is, is shows you as busy, and your notifications are turned off. All is done automatically. It's all done automatically, you don't need to do anything. And then when you go below that 9% um, in terms of your productivity, then the light goes green, and everything comes back on, and you can get notifications, you can Skype and things. But just for whilst you're in that zone, it says don't disturb me. How much of a brilliant idea is that? And before you go thinking, yeah, people are just going to have that on for the entire day. No, it only works for 13% of your day. So for the 13% of your day, when you're, you're most productive, the light goes red so you can really focus and get on with your work. For the rest of the time, it's green and people can interrupt you if they want. Now they trialled this 18 month period over 400 different people in 12 different countries and they found the light eliminated up to 50% of interruptions and over 85% of users continue to use it after the trial. This was based on, on some work that um, people were doing already where they'd put up a traffic cone, like a red or a green one, which again is a bit, it takes the time, you've got to put up the traffic cone, then you've got to think, right now, let's get on to some work. Okay, let's focus on this work, okay. And it takes a bit of time to get into the zone, but now with the lights going bing, or bing, 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 you can be in the zone working and the light just goes bing and you don't need to do anything because then you don't get interrupted. And then when you feel like, yes, well, that is a brilliant piece of work I've just done, bing, it goes green and you can be interrupted again. So that's the flow light, the desk top traffic light. They're looking to use it now as a biometric sensor, detecting your heart rate, detecting your breathing rate, detecting the amount of times you blink, and then using that to turn on, turn on or turn off the light. So next time John or Susie come over to interrupt you, if the light's red, that's a no-go, my friends, that's a no-go. They have to wait for the light to be green. Red means stop, green means go. If you enjoyed this video, please hit like, please hit subscribe. Thanks for your time. Love you, bye. Love you, bye. Love you, bye.